next on The New American Sportsman. There's a fish. Oh, yeah, the way did, the way did, the way did. Keep your fingers crossed. Oh. One, two, three. Did you did it? Yes! Yeah. American Sportsman is presented by Yamaha. Just a short hop from the city of Vancouver, Canada, rests Vancouver Island, a rare combination of wild landscapes and never-ending beaches. Making the way over to his family-owned resort, actor Jason Priestley and his new bride, Naomi, have invited new American Sportsman host Tom Ackerman for this week's Pacific salmon fishing adventure. The three set out to rekindle a friendship born on the high seas of Panama. Oh, meet it again. Oh, there you go. <laughs> but that's as far back as you see that. Tom tried to take me out, man. I'll tell you what, I'll handle oh, this. Oh, it's for the record. I want the record to reflect. Tom Ackerman tried to take me out. At the, at the knees. That's right. Cheap. All of our relationships picked up right when we left him off in Panama. It was, uh, it was fun, man. And uh, I've forgotten how much I liked beating on Tom. And it was uh, it was nice to get Tom back, back by my side, you know, so that I could uh, so that I could abuse him freely and um, uh, and enjoy it. It was fun. It's what he's you know he he's got such a great nature about him. You know he's he's a, you know he's a real gentle guy, and so it's so it's really fun to uh, to give him a hard time. He is a kind of in your high energy, in your face kind of guy, and very competitive. And when we said our goodbyes in Panama, I honestly thought that'd be the last time I'd see him. So I was a little surprised when this all fell together, and I met him in uh, in D.C. And when we got in the cab and started driving over to the South Terminal, I, I mean, it was like, you know, six months pancaked in time. Jason picked up right where he'd left off. <laughs> So it's such a little We're gonna need to pay for this because we've got only Canadian cash. Yeah, I got Canadian okay. money. See this? I want the record, the record to reflect. I'm the only one with the foresight to have Canadian money, so I have to pay for the cabs. How about that? Jason and Naomi love to fish. It's not just a passing fancy with them. In fact, I didn't realize it when we were in Panama, but Jason grew up fishing. Earlier in the year, the group met for the first time in Panama City. Their journey then took them another hundred miles or so to a small village on the Pacific Ocean near Tropic Star Lodge. Well, there goes our ride. I guess we're stuck here now. <laughs> From here, their bill fishing adventure began, and the young couple's passion was fully revealed. When the fish is on, the fish is on. Oh, he wants to play! He wants to play! You naughty little fish! <laughs> oh, oh, there he is! The fish of the trip for me was Naomi's first sailfish, only because it had a series of jumps right at the end, right by the boat that were spectacular. Oh, oh, look at that. Oh, there he is. Good job, honey. Great fish. Whoa. He's gone. A perfect release. That was a catch. That was a catch. The action was hot, and before long, it was Jason's turn in the hot seat. Fish on, baby. Fight yesterday morning uh, with that sailfish was uh, that was fantastic. I mean, it was it was you know it was a big, it was a heavy fish, and it was it was fighting unbelievably. It was uh, it was really crazy. Crap! Oh. Look at you, look like you've been in the gym! 
shoot. I'm a little pumped oh, up. You got the pump Be up. pumped yeah. up. Good times were met by good-natured fun, and the friendly jabs continued to fly beyond the boat and into the jungle. Yeah, let's keep the pace light. Yeah, that's right. We don't have to carry Grandpa. You got some Ben Gay for tomorrow, right? You betcha, baby. Just really enjoyed the time that we spent together down there. He was really excited about getting us up to come to British Columbia and sample some of the fishing that he had up here. But like most of those invitations that you get, I never really thought it was going to happen. Uh, listen, you guys, you know what? I'm a nice guy, but I, I you know, you I can, can change. I can turn on you guys. I'm, really? I'm waiting to see that. Really? Right. We maybe so should you... push it, see how far. I want to see, I want to see the bad time. <laughs> I want to see Tom's dark side. I do. Mm -hmm. Next on the New American Sportsman, Jason and the crew make it to their final fishing destination and face an early call to see Naomi's competitive spirit. Dude, the fish jumps on my line. What can I do? The new American Sportsman is brought to you by Yamaha, now celebrating 50 years as the world's motor sports leader. The new American Sportsman returns in flight to Vancouver Island, British Columbia, where actor Jason Priestley and his wife Naomi are taking host Tom Ackerman salmon fishing from their family-owned resort. I was feeding off of Jason's enthusiasm because he was coming home and this was familiar territory for him. And so he was pointing out everything. He couldn't stay in his seat. He was pointing out the broken islands and Barkley Sound and all of this as we were coming. He couldn't get it out fast enough because you could tell this was a very special place to him and he was looking forward to sharing it with us. After a smooth flight in, the sun sets over the Pacific horizon at Terrace Beach Resort. 6 a.m. comes early the next morning, but the gang is eager to get started. As they head out, Jason proposes a friendly wager. All right, 20, all right. The biggest 20 biggest spring. spring, 20 biggest coho, and most aggregate weight. Fair enough. All right? Game on. Right. All it's right. on, baby. Okay. No. We, take, we take turns on who gets the next fish. Okay. And you, my friend, because you got skunked in Panama, you're first up. There does have to be a caveat, though. You take too long getting to the rods. Oh, <laughs> oh see? Yeah. You see how she is? Man, Naomi gets so competitive on the boat. She's awesome. She goes crazy. It's great. She, uh, I, I, she loves to fish. She absolutely loves to fish. Oh, 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 oh. What do you got? Yeah, there's this fish on. Oh. Go on, honey. Sorry, Stop. sorry, Stop. Tom. No, you go ahead. Take this one, Nay. Welcome to the Naomi show. Yeah, no. <laughs> no, that's right. Look, it's a little one. Yeah, just a little guy. Oh. He's tiny. Little yo-yo. Yeah, this is, uh, this is seeming eerily dude, familiar. Dude, she, uh, you want a sandwich, Jay? It's unbelievable. You want to get something to drink, it's a sandwich? It's unbelievable. I'm going to have a jump from my life. You know what? She's relegated fishing to a spectator sport. She, she really has. She's unbelievable. No sooner had we started to troll and Naomi picked a fish up. And I was going, here we go again. You know, Jason looked at me, I looked at him, and I was like, you know, this is right where we left off. I know how this story ends. She's bananas for it. She absolutely loves it. Don't like a hot chick with a fishing rod in her hand, right? It's pretty good. Fish on, fish on. <gasps> Got him? Yeah. Awesome. Oh, he's a hog. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. As a Vancouver native, Jason is a natural born sportsman. But it was acting that brought him to the States. His earliest notoriety came with the role of Brandon Walsh on the hit series Beverly Hills 90210. Jason later became known as the actor who almost ended his life in a car racing crash. But what many don't know is Jason the hardcore sports fanatic with a major lust for the outdoors, especially Pacific salmon fishing. Today, Jason's partner in life shares his same passion for adventure. Together, they found a relationship rooted in the simple pleasures provided by the time shared together at the family resort. Wow. There it is. Wow. Wow. That's a nice fish, isn't it? 
He's long, he's a 30 pounder. Raise it up yeah. and give me a smile. Can you push it up a little higher? That's it. Did you get that picture? Yeah, I got the picture. Come on, fish. Where are you? There's a fish. Oh, oh, oh. Set the hook. You got Set the hook. You got, a, oh, yeah. you got a fish. Tom, you were down to your last minute. Good thing the fish bit. I love it. I love that Tom's got a fish. I'm very excited. So what do you think, Tom? Talk to I'm, I'm, I'm so gonna be I'm gonna be like, like you now. Talk. Come on, Tom, talk to me. Tom, Look Tom, tell me about guy. his tail's wagging. Tom, tell me about cat tell me about catching salmon here in oh, British Columbia. Nice yeah. Oh, look at him go. He just saw the boat. He's not ready yet. He's not ready. I mean, this well, isn't, uh, this isn't, play with him, Tommy. Th play with him. Have my way? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tom. Whoa. Come on, buddy. You're coming with me, baby. Is he, is he heavy, Tom? Yes, he's very heavy. Could you help me, Naomi? I'm starting to cramp up. <laughs> okay. Dude, look at this. Look at this. Tom, Tom's having the fight of his life right here. Yeah, he is. Come on, those stripers back in the river in Maine don't fight like this, do they, Tom? Yeah, yeah. Jump in there. You'll get him. That's a spring. Come on, pretty. That's a spring. That's beautiful. I'm kind of upset. If Tom gets us in the boat, both of them have two big fish. And I've got the littlest fish, which I'm not happy about at all. But uh, there's still time and there's still plenty of bait, so uh, keep your fingers crossed. Come on, here. Come on. I got fish. Oh, oh, man. Man. Hey. Nice fish, Tom. Nice fish, buddy. All right. Well, when you've been oh, at this game as long as I have, you know, you manage it. Oh, that's a, that's a nice fat oh, fish. Yeah. That's beautiful. I do think there's the luck of the draw, because, like, if it's your turn to, like, be on the line uh, and the hog is on, that's the luck pop. There you go. It but in pretty. the sun, it's, like, all glistening. Look oh, at that. Beautiful. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Tom, look here. Okay. Tom, give me the fish right here. I right love it. Work with me, baby. Uh, Come on, give it to me, baby. <laughs> give it to me. Next on The New American Sportsman, the gang rounds out the day with a beachside fish bake on the Barbie. Plus, Instant Access host Greta Gaines shows how to cook up a fresh catch without a fire. The New American Sportsman continues from the west side of Vancouver Island in British Columbia, where host Tom Ackerman has joined Hollywood actor Jason Priestley and his newlywed wife Naomi for a Pacific saltwater fishing adventure. Nestled shoreside near the fishing village of Euclulet, Jason is hosting this week's excursion from Terrace Beach Resort, a family-owned dream destination for the actor-turned-outfitter. When I got here and, and took a look around, this place is endless. It just wanders in, through the woods here, right on the, the water, and it's absolutely beautiful. The first thing I flashed on when I saw it was it looked like the Ewok village. The setting is beautiful. It's been, uh, it's been wonderful. You know, it's something I do with my father. My father manages the property out here and takes care of it for me, and, and, uh, uh, and so it's been a great thing for us to do together, actually. It's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun. Just about 20 miles offshore of Terrace Beach Resort, the group rejoins Captain Mike Marriott of Long Beach Charters. They shift gears a bit from salmon to halibut and the hopes of a tasty dinner. Halibut fishing was, uh, was halibut fishing. I mean, it was pretty much what I expected it to be, which is, uh, you know, drop straight down and jig vertically like this until you, you have one hop on and then you crank them up 300 feet to the boat. I imagine the reason that they're so sought after is not because they're a spectacular game fish, but because they're such good table fare, and we're going to find that out. We're in the stinky hole. I love the stinky hole. Um, we just caught two halibut here half an hour ago, and we're just, we're just going to go uh, through it once more so we can catch another couple and then tub out for the day. You got, you, Jay's on. Yeah. All right, all right. <laughs> That looks like a better fish, okay? Oh man! I know it's tired. 
It sure is. <laughs> we fish for the table. There's no question. We, uh, uh, you know, I, I love to sport fish. When we're sport fishing in Panama, I love that. So when I can, uh, when I can have a freezer at home full of fish that I caught, and I can have my friends over and I can cook them the fish that I caught, I, I, I you know, maybe it's because I grew up here. Um, but uh, but to me, that's, I mean, that's that's living. That's life. That's good. I tell you what, let's go grill that stuff up. I've got a good recipe. So, with their catch of the day in tow, the group returns to the local pier. Back at the seaside resort, they prep the grill for a fresh fish feast. Tonight's dinner is going to be great. Um, we're going to be uh, actually right here on this deck, and we're going to eat, drink, and be merry here, uh, here in the on the lovely Pacific Ocean with the sun setting behind us. I think it's gonna be really nice. It's nice for me to come here and, and be able to see my father and uh, uh, you know, my stepmother's here. And it's, it's really, uh, it's nice. It's nice to, you know, family, family's good, man. What better way to round out a day of fishing than to reap the rewards firsthand? As the Pacific sunset tops off the perfect evening, the gang reflects on their day in paradise. A much needed night of rest is sure to bring a bright and productive tomorrow. Meanwhile, Instant Access host Greta Gaines shows us how to cook up your next catch without the use of a flame. This is one of my favorite recipes. It couldn't be more easy. You can make it anywhere. All you need is some really fresh fish. Cod is good, red snapper. We're using bluefish because we just caught it. Shark is delicious, and also shellfish. Conch ceviche is amazing. All you need to do is get the fish, marinate it in citrus juice, lemon, lime, it could be sour orange, sea salt, we've got pepper and onion. That's the most simple recipe for ceviche. Let it marinate for like an hour. What happens is, it's a reaction between the citrus juices and the salt with the fish. It cooks it. You don't even need heat. And if you don't have a refrigerator, just leave it in the sun like I'm doing now. Cover it for about an hour. You come back, get a few tortilla chips, maybe your cerveza, and you're ready to have boat side, one of the most delicious fish dishes you'll ever put in your mouth. Mmm. Darn it, I'm good. This week's Tough Moment of the Day is brought to you by Yamaha. As many anglers know, the rewards of a tough battle are much sweeter when the catch is enjoyed <sighs> tableside. Oh, man. I know, sorry. <sighs> sure is. <laughs> Ain't nothing tougher than a Yamaha. Stinky hole. The new American Sportsman is brought to you by Yamaha, now celebrating 50 years as the world's motor sports leader. The new American Sportsman continues from Vancouver Island. Host Tom Ackerman rejoins actor Jason Priestley and his newlywed wife Naomi for another day of Pacific salmon fishing in paradise. As the day went on, it turned out to be the most glorious of all days, so calm and still and actually very sunny. To top things off, a gray whale crests the surface for a breath of clean air, a playful salute to a perfect day. Doing a heck of a job, Jay. Oh, he's a beauty. There you go. All right, all right, well Thank done. God. There you go. Yeah, that's a, that's a nice fish. fish. Yeah, let's, let's bring him in here, Larry. Yeah, 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 yeah. Wow. Oh, man. Oh, that's a, that's a big fish. That's a really nice fish. Yeah, look nice at that. Fish. Yeah, yeah, no, that's cool. Well, watch out, Larry. Here, here. Yeah, I'll hold him up. 
Oh man. Yeah. Hey, Nate, look at this. I know, it's about to uh, 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 Nice fish. Yeah, it's good fish, right? Oh, yeah. There you go. Huh? How about that? I didn't get it. It's good fish. Oh, look good at fish. the light. It was Jason that introduced me to like the deep sea fishing, and then that's a whole different story, because as you saw today, the fish is always on. 20 pounds, said, wow, that's pretty wow. good with my gas. Yeah, like, it's 20 pounds, buddy. Okay. That's pretty good. No, you said 22 pounds, dude. Yeah, but when it was when he was on the line, yeah, honey, yeah, yeah. I said 20 pounds. Funny how the story changes. Oh, my God. Well done, sweetie. Everyone's a critic. Well done. I, I think fishing together is is a very grounded thing for both of us. It's something that we that we, that we that we both really love to do, and, and uh, you know, it's something she had never done b before she met me, really, and, and so I really kind of introduced her to it. So it's kind of it's kind of our thing, you know, you know. So you know, some some couples have a song, some couples have a dance. You know, we fish. <laughs> oh. Go, honey, go, 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 Is go, it, go, get it, get it. There's nothing on there. Yeah, you got a fish on there, honey. You got a fish on there. Now, she's had some incredible luck as a beginner angler, both in Panama, well, everywhere she's been. She's out fish chasing here many times. Is that it, Patrick, for the water out there? Yeah, probably, yeah. Mary, you tell Al we got it. Are you kidding? Come on, baby. Pace yourself, Nate. Pace yourself. Look at her go. Oh. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. You got a fish on there. Unbelievable. <laughs> Here she goes. Here she, she goes. The last Jason and kills us all. Dude, we are very. She did this to me last know, time this too, is man. She kills every time. We're very, very happy for you, Naomi. Very happy. Right. Ooh. Ooh. Wow. Oh. Moving some water. Oh. I think she it, got a monster. She got the Loch Ness monster for crying out loud. I think it's a tuna. Oh, my she's got God. a tuna. Oh my God. She hooked into a yellowfin. Oh my God. Are you kidding me? I know. Look at her. Look at her face. I know. She would never make it in a poker if no. it came in. <laughs> no, she, no, she don't want to. I can tell what she's holding. Oh. That's, that's the best fighting coho I've ever seen. Yeah, oh, man, it's dragging this boat all over the place. It's tiny! <laughs> <laughs> I would, Are you kidding? Are you kidding? I wouldn't say tiny. Oh, God. I, I don't think, I wouldn't use the word tiny. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. After all that. We, oh, we, we're all like, ah, oh, here comes the 45 pounder. I know. I know. I could tell she wanted to catch a spring and it just was not meant to be. Today, it just didn't happen for her. We're kind of competitive, we like to talk a good game. It kind of, you know, gets all the adrenaline pumping and then we have like, you know, little fishing derbies and stuff. But at the end of the day, if Jason was to get the bigger fish, which I think he did today, I just, I'm so happy that he got such a great fish and uh, we're all winners because I'm gonna end up eating the fish anyway. And he's gonna end up eating my fish, so it's all good. A good day with good friends, the utmost purpose for life. For sportsmen like Tom, Jason, and Naomi, each new day on the water serves up an elusive charm to taste success, to live life, and to reach out eagerly for newer and richer experiences. These are the rewards of happiness in the outdoors, the qualities of the new American sportsman. This has been a presentation of ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Become a better outdoorsman. Log on to ESPNOutdoors.com.